Muslims who are in Palestine, they are fulfilling the Fardi Kifaya on behalf of this Ummah, no exaggeration. For how many years, how many years have the Muslims been in Palestine? For over 60 years, they've been persecuted. They are fulfilling a Fardi Kifaya on behalf of this Ummah. If it was anybody else, they would have cut and run. But see, they still have sayings like, they look the Israeli army in the eyes, and they have these sayings like, نَحْنُ أَبْنَاءُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَكُلُّ نَصْلَاحُ الدِّينَ So we are the children of the Muslims, and every single one of us is the Salahu الدِّينَ They are fulfilling, Wallahi, they are fulfilling the Fardi Kifaya on behalf of this Ummah. And it's a disgrace by Allah. It's a disgrace that they have to wait for handouts from the EU, from America, I mean, what do you expect from these people? They all is banging on about democracy. And when the people of Palestine chose Hamas by a landslide, then what does it mean? Yes, democracy, but you must democratically choose those who we tell you to choose. And then what did they do? They, they tried to starve these people, the EU and America. It didn't work. Then the blockade started. It didn't work. And then they wanted to bomb them into an abyss. And you expect anything more from these people? You must understand the mentality that you're dealing with. No, seriously. You know, these people who, are, who follow the Jahiliya me methodology, where Unsur Akhaka Zaliman or Mudluman, before Islam, the Arabs used to have this saying, assist your brother. May he be the oppressor or the oppressed. And what this meant, anybody who has allegiance with you is your brother. You assist him. And upon occasion, the Prophet said, Unsur Akhaka Zaliman or Mudluman, assist your brother. May he be the oppressor and the, or the oppressed. And the Sahaba knew that this contravened the essence of Islam. And they said, O Messenger of Allah, we can understand assisting the oppressed, but how do we assist the oppressor? And the Prophet said, Stop him from his oppression. And these people believe in it. They believe in that Jahiliya methodology. They will assist Israel. You know, a group of people who have taken other people's land and put them in a concentration camp. This, what was the sin of the Palestinians? What was their sin? They were in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, a crime perpetrated by the white Europeans upon the Jews for which the olive skinned Arabs had to pick up the bill. You know, justice says if land was given, then it should have been from Germany. And if the British were so keen on creating a state, then they should have given them Wales. And if the Americans are so interested in supporting them, then why don't they give them one of their states? And this is what you call justice. And you must understand the mentality that you're dealing with seriously. This is a mentality which wiped out 300 million red Indians. Red Indians in America, like Ismail was saying. And then they still had the goal to depict the cowboy as the good guy and the Indians as the savages. These are the people who went to Australia and wiped out the Aborigines, New Zealand, the Maoris. They were the savages and these were the good guys. So you must understand the mentality that you're dealing with. They have these Jailiya principles. But the shame is upon us. By Allah, for those Palestinians who have died, this is their victory. By Allah, this is their victory. Because sometimes in loss for individuals, it's a victory. But it's a slap in our face. Hamza radiallahu anhu passed away on the battle of Uhud. He passed away, his body was mutilated. His parts, they made necklaces out of him. But it was on the occasion of Uhud that he was given the title of Asadullah, the line of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And really, this is a shame. You know, recently they had a documentary where they had that blind man. Four children, four sons in prison. He's blind. And the Israelis put a blank check in front of him. They said, fill it in, sign it. You know, how much, whatever you want and give us your land. What did he say? He said, if you want the land, then you will have to take the signature of every single Muslim on the face of this earth, because this land belongs to every single Muslim.
And this is not just an issue of land. This is an issue of Aqidah. No, this is an issue of Aqidah. Why don't we feel for the Palestinians like we felt for the Indians in Gujarat when the genocide took place? Why don't we feel for the Palestinians like we felt for the Pakistanis when the earthquake took place? Why don't the Bengalis feel for the Palestinians like when the floods take wipe? The reason is because see, knowingly or unknowingly, many of us give preference to our nationality over our Islamic identity. Knowingly or unknowingly. And that is the reality of it. And these people are fulfilling a farda kifaya on behalf of this ummah. Ya dal asma'il husna, ya khal.